Hey guys, so I just picked this tool up that basically analyzes any semiconductor with two or three leads and I gotta say I'm really disappointed I haven't bought this sooner because it saves so much time. Um, when you have to like quickly build a prototype, what I usually do is I'll go through my you know junk drawer or surplus salvage drawer and, and I'll pick up a part I'll look up the part number, look up the data sheet, um, and when you have several parts to do that with, it takes a lot, a lot of time. So uh, this little tool basically saves so much time. So you just, any order, it doesn't matter. That's one of my favorite things is that you just, if you have a part with two leads, you just hook up any of the two leads uh, coming from the unit. Uh, if it has three leads, you just hook them up in whatever order. So immediately when you turn on, it'll begin analyzing the part. So uh, it recognizes that it's an in-channel MOSFET enhancement mode, gives you a little diagram, and it tells you the red lead is on the drain, the green lead is on the gate, and the blue is on the source. So uh, then you just click the scroll button. So the, uh, the voltage that this MOSFET turns on, the VGS on, is 2.994, which is pretty good. I, this is a pretty nice MOSFET here. And uh, you scroll down, it's got all the other parameters in there. And if you want, it's got the RDS on too. If you want, you can hook this up to your computer with the USB connection and you can do uh, plot different graphs for the different parts, which is really cool. So you can do, um, you know, for let's say a, an LED, you could do uh, voltage versus current or a uh, voltage regulator, um, the voltage in versus the voltage out, it'll give you a nice little graph. So you could basically use this to make your own data sheet if you had parts that didn't have any uh, markings on them and you don't know where they came from and you don't want to throw them away. So you can just kind of organize your, your parts or even just test if your parts are good or not. So. Um, let's just try a few of these other parts you can see. Um, so it detected that this is a voltage regulator, and it is, and that the red lead is connected to the in, the green is connected to the out, and the blue is connected to the ground. And then the uh, this is a 5 volt regulator, and it's pretty spot on, 5.002 volts. Um, it gets uh, has uh, all your other parameters here. So it knows it's a PMP uh, germanium BJT, and it knows that the red lead is connected to the base, the green, the collector, and blue uh, connected to the emitter. And you have your settings here. And uh, let me show you what happens if you have a bad part. So I know this one is bad. So we'll hook it up just the same way I just did with that one. So it, it knows that the green and the blue leads are shorted. So this is a bad part. Diode junction, red anode, blue cathode, the forward voltage drop, and that's pretty much all it gives you for diodes. So red the cathode, green the anode, and the reverse voltage, which is you know what's important with the Zener is uh, 4.874 and then you hit the scroll button you'll get the uh, the forward voltage okay. knows that it's an LED and the red is cathode blue the anode gives you the forward voltage and that's that's all it gives you for LEDs so PMP silicon BJT red collector green is the base, blue is the emitter, and it gives you all your parameters here. Yep. Yep, and I really like the little, uh, 
you know illustrations they have to accompany the part you can see the body diode um, and channel enhancement mode and the pinouts just the pinouts alone is is great and this is actually the second model and I actually I bought this first I bought the original one first and I immediately returned it when I found this one existed because um, it just it gives you a lot more data and it uh, has the USB feature for hooking up your computer and it tests a few different uh, you know other parts variety of parts and uh, so I immediately returned it and got this one and it's saved me so much time already so uh, this is a great thing to keep just near your junk drawer or um, on your test bench and between these two uh, tools here I can just grab parts out of a you know junk drawer this one uh, you've seen me use this one some other older videos a uh, little LCR meter um, and I really like it for through hole parts you just plug it in automatically it'll tell you a uh, capacitor 90.5 microfarads you take a resistor just plug it in automatically it'll tell you what the uh, resistance is. Um, to make it quicker, if you know you're just gonna test a bunch of resistors, you can just go to you know, the DC resistance and you, know, you plug in um, one after another. So it doesn't have to determine what kind of part it is. But um, auto works pretty well. And even with you know, short leads, it does a pretty okay job. So a little inductor here. And you can change the frequency at the top if you want. Um, and you can do the res uh, resistance, the impedance at that frequency. So we have, uh, you know, 100 kilohertz here. And uh, if you wanted to do like service mount parts with this, uh, there are a few attachments that come with it. You can use the uh, tweezers, and that's pretty good for service mount components. Or they have like a this just plugs in for you know alligator type deal so this, this uh, just disconnected here like this is a little adjustable capacitor variable capacitor here and you can see it's nice so yeah well I hope you guys like this video and feel free to leave me any uh, comments if you have any questions or comments about you know uh, how to use these or um, anything like that so all right well I'll talk to you guys later see ya